Hello everyone, and uh, welcome back to The Hunter. I've uh, jumped a few hours from where I left off. You know, in the back of the morning, I wandered up the road from the barn, you know, just trying to scavenge, uh, scavenge up uh, some short iron pipes, because gold is episodes to get a forge going. Ooh, there's actually a short iron pipe. And uh, I was recording the... Since the 4 a.m. in game, and well, my game crashed, so I that which really sucks, but it's not a big deal. But I wanted to thank uh, old, old Esoteric uh, Welchmertz for commenting on my first video and of the series and you know, answering my question about like what they really like using for Seven Days to Die and. And they really enjoy using the sniper rifle, and they also really enjoy using the sledgehammer when, because it's really good for just melee in general, and also great for breaking down doors when you have the right perks. Which, you know, that's really a great. Those are good choices. Really, no bad choices in the in the game, as long as you really spec into them and you kind of learn the what to do and not to do. So we've come up on a town here, and uh, which is pretty good. It's like I would, so I should be able to get a get a another sword iron pipe for the for the uh, forge here. Then we should be able to start smelting down iron and get cooking pot, so I can kind of move away from charred meat. Oh boy, I still have I still don't have rich name for Richard guy here. You know, please uh, give me a comment, you know, for this dude here that I'm shooting at. Like, and also, you know, give me a comment down below. We can go like for challenges you'd like to see me do, like you know, get a certain amount of kills with the bone shiv or the bow, and you know. And you know, and, you know, or even certain types of zombies, and you know, give me a penalty you know, if I fail. Uh, you know, give me like you know, like take away a certain ammo type, or like take away my bone ship and make me use the the bow for an episode. You know, like I want you guys to give you know, you know, be able to interact with this stuff. It would be really fun to do, and just be awesome to. Would do and you know, keep me challenged. And so, yeah, looks like we got a. Um, I think this is a movie theater up here. It's you know, search this car real quick. A bit of oil. Um, yeah, I did find a beaker on my way over to this town. It's just up the road, and also. I forgot to kind of be specific on the map name details I'm doing, in case you guys want to follow along. Uh, I said the hunter with, you know, the three in places of E's in both the and hunter. I forgot to specify it's, uh, it's all caps along with the threes. I'll put up an edit for it for you guys so that way if you do want to play along you can have the map name and so yeah it's like looks like we're in a forest biome with burnt biome which is pretty interesting um come here bernie i don't exactly have a name for the, the burnt guy yet Anything good on you? Iron. Which reminds me, I should get some arrows on the craft. Crispy. Yeah, that was right. This is a uh, movie theater here. So, I'm going to uh, scout this uh, town out and if I find anything interesting in terms of POIs and 
call is, so I'll let you know right after. I'll kill this pig. So yeah, I'll kill this pig and I'll see you in a bit. So I'm just uh, down the road to the south here, in the kind of the south east and the southwestern corner of the town, and I found a Shamway Foods, which not bad for food, and I've also found one of these service centers, which um, if, if anything, it might have a workbench in here. Let's take a look real quick. There's a wire tower, a small garage. Um, at first glance, I don't know what there is. I'm trying to avoid the zombies for the most part. A uh, gas barrel. Gas barrels are good for later on. Um, let's see if there's anything else in this gas station or service center. Take care of the burn. <laughs> there are a bunch of zombies in here. Charlie, good to see you. Come on. Take your blade. Thank you, Charlie. Glass pane. Um bookshelf in here. And a and a half Charlie. And paper. Not really useful for me. And yeah, nothing other than Charlie. Um. Well, these guys are getting in. Water and some jars, that's good. Ooh, a beer and another water. Uh, gotta break out of here. These guys are not getting in yet. Alright, sweet so we route. <laughs> Gotta be careful here in the burn biome because uh, there's a <laughs> possibility of docks, and those guys are deadly on this version of the console. Um, well, I'm remembering to take care of the sham sandwiches and rotting flesh. I know erotic flesh is useful for fertilizer later on, but... Ooh. Big apartment building. The Ostrich Hotel. Uh, I can't remember if this has... This ha I think it has a couple boxes at the top, but I don't remember if it has a munitions crate. We got what looks so I like to call a shanty town. Oh crap, it's a dog. Ooh, one shot on the dog. Yeah, we got company. Come here, Crispy. Yeah, if you uh, want to uh, give a name to the burn victim zombies here, uh, give suggest a name in the comments down below. It will be much appreciated. I'm gonna keep exploring, so I'll catch up with you guys in a bit. So I was just uh, doing some more uh, exploring and went to the east and then to the very most northern. And I found a some pistol parts, uh, shotgun parts, and 
kind of flashlight, which if anything, the flashlight would be useful for giving me a light source to help you guys out. So not really much I can do with the with the uh handgun and shotgun parts, but eh, it's one of those. It's like <laughs> Hey, it can be useful if I it'll be useful for selling that line, so Yeah, it just It's like very interesting town. This is mostly planes, but there's also a when I came over to the southeastern portion I found that there's a plains biome, which could be really good for getting corn. Which means like, you know, you can have cornmeal and everything and which would be excellent, and so, yeah, it looks like we got a very good-sized town here, and so, what I'm planning on doing is, I'm just gonna grade one of the one or two houses, hopefully I find a, another short iron pipe so we can get the forge, because I'm full up on blue, and it would really help me. So, take care of Penny here. Finish you off with the knife. Yep, yep, yep. More shotgun shells and more water. I'm not picking up the sham sandwiches, because there's not much use in, in single player. Hi, Bob. Oh, ow. Bob, you know better than that. Bob's a little grabby, if you know what I mean. He's he doesn't know how to keep to himself. Red shirt guy. Um, or Bob. And we got. Attract a bit more attention here, so. Oh boy, the crawler moaning. Alright, you yeah, have you get out of here and. Bob, come on. You're so stubborn. Hopefully I don't miss with some don't miss with these. As long as I sink the arrows in, should be fine. A, a, a Bernie guy on fire. You'd think he'd be used to that by now. But I guess that doesn't completely make you uh, fire immune. Uh, okay. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to just fast forward this fighting and I'll be back with you in a, a minute or two, so see you in a second. Finishing out this little last sweat for a crawler. Uh, here, um, I did want to tell you guys, like, you know, I apologize if my editing is not the best, and because uh, you know, I'm brand new to this, so I do want to give give you guys the best quality possible with what I can do. And you know, if you have any tips for possibly editing, you know, please tell me. I will gladly take your advice. You know, it's more than welcome, and. You know, I'm more than one to learn through this. Ooh, some vitamins. Okay. Oh, we got Nancy the nurse over here. Okay, 
have a good day, Nancy. And yeah, we'll just ignore the sweat. A handgun and a football helmet. Football helmet's really good for protecting me. Scrap that skull cap. Um, brown bandana. Sounds like that crawler's beating up on it. Put these nerdy glasses on. Uh, hopefully we can find some short iron pipes and cooking pot. That's really good. So empty cans, got that. Or empty can. We'll leave the co coffee beans there. Oh look, a pig in a house. Uh, find the to see if I can find the toilet real quick because. I'd like to see if I can beat a part for a short iron pipe. Okay. And. Cupboard. Medicine cabinet. Just like the painkillers. Bullet casings are not exactly useful. Um. Toss the cloth fragments and that out. Let's see. Let's speed through the store real quick. Some denim pants and a green sweatshirt. Um, pair of that. Even since I'm scrapping that down, grab that cloth back. The corpse. Toilet. Um. If anything, murky water will do and do me good. Let's see if I get a pipe out of this. I know you can do it with a wrench. Yes, we got it. We got this other short iron pipe I need. Okay. I'm just gonna ditch these zombies and I'm going to run back to the barn and catch up with you in a couple minutes. So I just had a close encounter with a dog here, and you know, uh, I figured, I realized I was out of ammo on my bow, so it's like, <laughs> you got me infected, which isn't the greatest, but hey, what can I do about it? It's, maybe, I didn't go into the center of town, but uh, maybe if I'm fortunate, I can get a, get a <laughs> pop and pills, and you go, we can, I can cure that up really quick, or if, any, if worse comes to worse, uh, so I <laughs> wait for the airdrop and get to the, and hope that has it, or if, you or if I die from it, it's not really that big of a deal, because, you know, if I die within the first two weeks, it's like, then I'm not making this permadeath, you know, it'll just kind of go on for, for a while, and... So yeah, uh, just gonna resume my walk back to the into the barn. I'll <laughs> catch up with you. See you again. So I'm going back up on the barn here, and you know, I wanted to come back before at nightfall because I wanted to. Here, let me turn on the flashlight for you guys. I wanted to come back here early because I wanted to do some crafting to increase quality of my tools and. For those of you that are not, uh, that do not, uh, know, like, it, whether it be you're new to Seven Days or 
uh, console version, you like if you played uh, all the you know, PC only, it, you know, the the P the console version is basically like Alpha 15, and you you know, if you're a PC player watching this, it's you don't know the how it all works. Is like you're on Alpha 21. And so everything's changed basically for for you guys. Uh, but basically, the how you increase the quality of your tools and and also damage of tools and weapons is uh, it, it's inc it's basically learned by doing. So if you craft a, craft up your tools, the higher the quality they get. Like my tools are. Level 70. My tool quality is level 75, and you know, my weapon level is level 77. And it's like, you know, for weapon smithing, you make uh, you make like arrows or new weapons. You that's the easy way. Like starting out, it's like you know, you want to increase the quality of your tools, craft stone axes. It's really not that hard and. So yeah, it's one of those that's just like, it's it's grindy and you know, and your actual crafting capability maxes out at 500, level 500 for quality, but uh, if you get a workbench you can merge to uh, level 600, which is the max level. And, and so yeah, it's one of those. It can be a little overwhelming, but it's like it—it it, it can be really fun. And I know some PC players and even some console players uh, prefer the learn by doing system this has. And it's like, but um, the fun pimps have gone to a, like a perk point system or no, uh, learning by looting, which is. You know, not a bad solution, but it's just one of those. It could be, it could be better. Kind of wish you know, give people the option to do it. So, yeah, it's one of those. It's you. Know, some people would ask you me, like, why are you playing this version of, of uh, Seven Days to Die? Do you not have a PC? And no, I don't. I'm doing this on my PlayStation Five. It's just a and it's like, you know, but it's one of those I want to get back into it with the new console version coming up in seven days. And, if we're, and you know, we're just, I think it's supposed to be Alpha 22, which I'm really excited for. And I know a lot of you guys are very excited for it. And so, one of those, I'm like, you get back into this and start, you know, doing content. It's... And you know, I really enjoy doing this. So, yeah, it's like, uh, I'm gonna collect my materials here and I'll be, I'll let you know once the nice cycle rolls around. So, be back in a bit, guys. Alright, so we're coming up on nighttime here of day two and. About to self hunt, get ready for night in time. And... Alright. Let's. Gonna turn my flashlight on for you guys. Make sure you guys are comfortable. So, yeah. Go do that. Uh, do my tool crafting for the night and. You know, give. I won't bore you with, with it, but it's like. So, but first things first, before I do that. Go show you guys. Um, for... We got our bellows going, so that's really good. Um, but yeah, it's one of those that just, especially in the early days here, the the nights can be boring and not that exciting. So it's like that's why I kind of cut out most of the night for you guys and and why I kind of end it in the middle of the night, you know, try to pick it up back in, back around 4 o'clock in the morning. It's one of those that's just not the most exciting. Hopefully it will get exciting as I go, you know, go on later. Get our forge going, and... 
make 29 stone axes. So yeah, just wait for that to craft up. Um, get some, get the clay and iron out. Just so hmm, I can immediately start smelting my stuff down for... We can start making forged iron, just... Yeah, we're getting the basics, and... I looted the pistol earlier, it's... I'm not using it because, you know, weapon challenge restrictions. And our forge just crafted, so... That's one big step in the right direction. Alright. Uh, get... First and foremost, let's just start smelting clay and iron into here, and... Because we're gonna need the... need the anvil. Uh, 300... Give you 156, and he'll let you melt overnight. You can see my toolsmith thing has gone up, which is my tool crafting skill. You can see that I'm just uh, spam crafting these. And basically, I like to cycle these out for stone. You know, basically, just try to get it as high as possible. So, yeah, it's one of those just. I'm gonna be spam crafting and, you know, trying to improve my tool quality so I can break stuff down faster. <laughs> so, I'm going to. If anything happens, I'll, I'll let you know. If not, then I'll come back a little bit and a little bit to. to uh, give you an overview of what happened. Okay, so while doing my crafting here, uh, we actually got some zombies around. And thankfully, I managed to take the take the meat out of my inventory. So, yeah, it's like uh, I saw the nurse run right in here, and uh, so if anything, so hopefully uh, these guys don't bother me. I should I should be perfectly fine. Uh, so. Yeah, I'm going to continue crafting and uh, you know, just wait out the zombies. I'm not really the one to take on runners at this stage, uh, so I'm just so I'm going to leave you on a cliffhanger here. Hope you enjoyed the video, and I hope you leave a like. You know, give me a comment down below, and hope to see you in the next episode. Have a great day, everybody.